welcome, welcome to the show. I am Trucker Rudy here on YouTube. Yes, indeed, we are. We are now uh, in the United States of America already. As you guys saw last night, we uh, or yesterday's video, we uh, stayed a night in uh, Morris, Manitoba. Got up this morning and our border crossing was cleared already even last uh, last night half an hour after I got to the truck stop right but uh, yeah, I took my 10 hours break and uh, got going here this morning it was still dark so uh, yeah I decided hey now it's finally starting to get a little bit of daylight so let's turn on the cameras and show you guys where we're at and talk to you guys a little bit and welcome you guys into the show that's for sure been driving for a good while already guys so i finally uh pulled over into uh clearwater Minnesota and decided to take my half an hour break i was pretty hungry already so i went just and uh, finished uh having me a couple of sandwiches nothing special just regular sandwiches and then uh, i remembered the trucker jukebox giving me this thing right here and uh, he wanted me to give it a try to cook something in so i finally got it out of the box <clears throat> open it up and uh we got these little pans in there and so i threw some chicken in there some onions green peppers stuff like that and we'll go ahead and uh start cooking that and he said there's only one downside to it which i probably will agree with and that is uh after a while that thing is going to start smelling good in here and i'm going to want to eat it right <laughs> yeah that's probably the only downside to it but i figured well i'll throw everything in it he says it's going to take about three hours to cook everything so uh figured well i'll go ahead and throw my meat and all that stuff in there let it cook for a few hours and i put some water in there too so that way uh there's some water in there and i figured out oh, cook uh, those are chicken wings that i actually threw in there so i'll give that a try and see how that goes but anyways are you guys seeing what i'm seeing i don't know it might be kind of hard to see but there's actually really light flurries out there i don't know if you guys can actually see it it almost looks like you can see it on the camera but it's very very fine mist out there but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and take that box out and throw it in the garbage because I don't need it that's a fairly big box right and you look at that compared to that that's fairly big right and much bigger than what the actual item is so uh, I think I'm gonna go throw that out so that way it's not wasting room in my uh, truck right so that way I can put that little uh, cooking stove somewhere and I don't have to worry about it, right? So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and take care of all of that and let's get back on the road here in a few. Time to leave this Petro, guys. Yeah, we spent enough time in here. Well, about 50 minutes that we spent in here. But hey, that's okay. I had to prepare my meal and uh, make myself some sandwiches go use the bathroom and all of that went and threw out the box so we are good to go I want to say thank you to trucker jukebox for giving me this uh, cooking thing here yeah, it's about 30 bucks or something like that usually at truck stops and those uh, thin uh, foil cans or whatever you want to call them plates that go on the bottom there where you throw your food in Apparently you can get those ones much cheaper at Walmart. Something like three for 88 cents or something like that. And uh, Stefan was telling me yesterday Midnight when we were on the phone that, uh, that you can also get those at like Dollarama and stuff like that in Canada for very cheap as well. So uh, I might be uh, cooking more and more stuff in it like that. Or I'll buy these pans and then whenever the wife cooks something at home or you know and make a little extra and then maybe uh, fill a little plate like that up put it in the freezer 
and then just maybe wrap it uh, wrap the top with uh, tin foil as well or something like that or just wrap it completely with tin foil freeze it and then I can put it in the fridge and then let's say half an hour 45 minutes before I want to eat I pull up you know pull over somewhere and throw it in there and I can go have me a nice warm meal whenever I pull over somewhere right so that might actually be a pretty uh, pretty good way of doing it so it'd be uh, especially for the days that I don't really want to cook something that'd be a lot cheaper I think you know because we cook uh, meals at home all the time anyways so why not put something in there and put it in the fridge and you know get me something good to eat right anyways let's go ahead and hit the road get back on the interstate and go through uh, Minneapolis before the big rush hour hits it's almost one o'clock right now so uh, I definitely want to get through there before the big rush hour comes through but yeah I just hope we don't get too much snow all right guys we just entered into Iowa and uh, apparently this chicken house is open today so uh, Apparently they don't have the drive is uh, drive wise in uh, in Iowa, so we gotta go in here and go through the scale, I suppose. Yes, they want to see us in here today. Oh well, I only have two hours and five minutes of drive time remaining, so uh, I looked it up, and it looks like I can make it up there to Evansville, uh, Iowa another 116 miles as long as we don't get delayed too much we should be able to make it up to there so let's see if we can get cross here I know we're not overweight because I scaled it already I actually Emerson uh, was open this morning and I went over there and you can see clearly what your weight is when you're out uh, when you're going over it so I was able to see that no problem that we were legal let's open my window a little bit just in case they want to talk to us yeah, they got their windows tinted so much that you can't even see them sitting in there <laughs> yeah oh well let's see so far we keep getting the green arrow I did see a I don't know if it was a big pickup truck with a tree utility trailer behind it or something like that inside the, not inside uh, in the back parking lot there so I'm guessing he's uh, getting inspected right now so but we are a okay to go so let's hammer down and get on further down the road we still have light flurries as you guys might be able to see but other than that I don't know I just kind of feel lazy about making videos today I don't know what it is it just today I'm not super excited and then plus I got this crock pot or cooking thing here and man it's starting to smell good in here pretty soon I think I'm gonna have to pull over somewhere though and probably add a little bit more water and uh, probably add my tomato so uh, tomato sauce and uh, get my noodles in there and let them cook for a little while till I stop for the night which is only gonna be in about two hours we have to stop and we're gonna be done for today we have just parked and uh, I gotta change my duty status here uh, I forgot come on let's change it there we go now we are changed over into sleeper berth yeah that's right and let's take a look oh look at that I cooked me a very very nice stew it looks like right here in this Burton oven as you guys saw earlier put all my ingredients into it and uh, I was actually on the phone and I pulled into one of the rest areas and just quickly added water and uh, my tomato sauce and noodles and all that good stuff so I didn't really show you guys that but hey here we are so just got a bottle of water and we'll have a good supper here and 
call it a day we just barely made it here i think we had like nine minutes remaining or something like that of drive time so we just barely made it but hey we made it so let's go ahead and have us a good supper